Yeah, when the Lions were here last, um, I was in my first year playing for Canterbury. Uh, I just remember it being a, you know, a massive deal. You know, leading into that first test, there was just so much uh, hype and you know who who they were bringing. They were bringing this massive group of players, and going into that first test, you know, it was it was just so massive. And um, you know, I guess in the end of the day, we we came out and as an All Black side played really well, and some guys really stood up and, and played awesome rugby. So. I remember when the Lions came to play the Turbos. Proud day, got a real good ticket in the grandstand and um, they ended up, Shane Williams got a record five tries I think and uh, made us look like we were kids. One or two was going off and um, there was extra seating in the FMG Stadium and uh, one or two fans actually enjoyed just watching good footy and um, tries being scored so it was a pretty special night. I was probably about 15 last time the, the Lions came through New Zealand. Yeah, and just and the buzz that was around the country when they, when they came was was obviously something special. Um, I'd never seen anything like it before, so I remember Dad saying to me that, that how big a thing it was for them to be here and um, settled up and uh, watched them watch them footy at home. I couldn't score any tickets to any of the games like these guys, so um, yeah, I was, I was watching. I went into the ballot, mate. I did the old <laughs> luck of the draw, so <laughs> got the letter at home and. We cracked it, two tickets on halfway available. You know, to get a letter back from the NZRU at the time was pretty special. I think I still got the letter, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I, got, I got my two from uh, Canterbury. Some people will probably remember that first test was was probably one of the wettest tests, but it was such a great game of footy, it didn't really matter, yeah. So maybe a good thing I was at home. Kevin yeah. Drive, you know? Yeah, tucked up. Yeah. Mum would have had the hot water bottle for you. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, and scones. <laughs> I remember sitting in the grandstand and I could see Johnny Wilkinson and, uh, and Jason Robinson and um, and like I was just buzzing out. Johnny Wilkinson at the time was a legend, you know, and um, to come to little provinces like Palmy, it was pretty buzzy and I think that's when the sort of the dream of playing rugby was like, this is pretty cool, these guys are travelling the world and they were rock stars, they were rocking around, just these guys are like the Beatles. <laughs> oh, hard to go past. DC and, and that series. He was always someone that I looked up to when I was, was growing up and um, man when he just turned it on in those test matches he uh, oh, it was probably when the world took notice and said this this guy's one of the best. Just having him bursting onto the scene and ripping it up was um, was pretty special. They were they just got some wicked tries. Um, I was at the Tess and Wellies that Carter ripped up and I remember standing up and probably one of the biggest embraces me and my dad have ever had as a father-son but uh, <laughs> ah, losing it with each other as the rest of uh, Wellington was and probably the country, so it was pretty cool.